Hello, today I will show you how to fix fur on Sylvanian family's figurine. How from this I made this. It's called flocking. It's the same method as is used in factories, which is with electrostatics, but of course with different equipment. I bought this one on AliExpress. This flocking machine is sold as static grass applicator and is used for, yes, applying grass on dioramas. Fake grass is way longer than flock. So I modified the machine because holes in the sieve were too big and flock came through in lumps. So I removed the plastic can and installed a flower sieve inside the metal tube. In my country it is easy to buy flock in Nile art stores in small jars. For one toy I usually use three of them. In bigger batches, I buy flock on AliExpress. I tried a lot of different glues, but this one is the best for me. Gorilla Glue Clear. It's very thick and fibers won't collapse till it's dry. And it's very strong. If you don't want to use flocking machine, there will be a video on my channel for that. The effect is not that good, but sufficient. This is a cotton tally rabbit, probably from the 90s. I bought it in that condition. First I must scrape the old fur. I started with giving him a bath in boiling water. Old plastic tears easily and it gets soft when heated, so taking it apart is easier and safer. Attention! New Sylvanian figurines have bellies from hard plastic and the disassembling process is a little bit different. Now I scrape the rest of the fur. Sometimes when the toy is very old, hot water and some friction is enough, but not this time. So I remove fibers with acetone. Protecting gloves are necessary. I take a cotton pad soaked in acetone and put it on a toy for a few seconds. And then take a metal tool to scrape the fur. It's oddly satisfying. I repeat it till all fur is gone and wipe it once again with acetone to remove the rest of the glue. After scraping all of the old fur, I give it a soapy bath to remove residue of glue and acetone. The important thing is to flock on a smooth surface, that's why I used plastic paper tray. It's easy to gather the excess and put it back in jar. Because the glue I'm using is transparent, I put parts under the light to make sure all is covered because gaps aren't easily fixed later. For good visibility of the process, I choose to use brown fur. I turn the static machine on and sprinkle the flock generously, turning pieces in every direction to make sure everything is covered with fiber. To get good angles and make sure everything is in the frame, I had to give up on perfect setup, so I made way more mess than usual. I don't shake the excess, just put it aside to dry in peace. I turn off my machine after every element and after turning it off I touch a sieve with the clamp to discharge electricity. It makes a very nice bzzk sound 
and now it's safe to touch all elements. I did an oopsie and bumped this hand with a lump and it scraped a bit of new fur. With hope it will be okay, I put a little lump of flock on it. This time I got lucky. Sadly, the head don't have any part I could grab with a clamp, so I put a wire in the eye holes. I leave everything to dry overnight to make sure everything is dry. After that, I shake off the excess of the flock and brush it with makeup brush. For some reason I didn't record that. Assembly is a little tricky, because room temperature plastic is hard. I don't want to immerse freshly flocked figurine in boiling water, so I use a heat gun on 100 degrees. You can see I struggle here, because I could barely see what I'm doing because of the filming setup, so the rest I put together off camera, but as you can see I'm pretty harsh with the figurine and the flock does not come off. And that's our finished rabbit. Fur is soft, thick, without bald spots. Later, I added a tail made from a small pom-pom. I hope this video was helpful. I plan to make more videos about Sylvanian families. So, if that interests you, please subscribe. Bye-bye!